Welcome to Financial News Friday. We are going to be talking about TikTok today. So let me get you to my screen. So TikTok sues Montana over its new law banning the app. TikTok has filed a federal lawsuit against Montana after the state passed a law last week intended to ban the app from being downloaded within its borders. The widely expected lawsuit argues that banning a huge popular social media app amounts to a legal suppression of freedom of speech tantamount to censorship. The Montana law unlawfully abridges one of the core freedoms guaranteed by the First Amendment, the suit claims. Lawyers for Chinese-owned TikTok also argue that the national security threat raised by officials in Montana is not something that state officials can attempt to regulate since foreign affairs and national security matters are a federal issue. TikTok seeks to um, have the Montana law, which has not gone to effect yet, overturned. Last week, uh, TikTok creators filed the first challenge to the law, saying it violates freedom of speech. TikTok is owned by the Chinese internet company BitDance. The company says 150 million users in the U.S. We are challenging Montana's unconstitutional uh, TikTok ban to protect our business and the hundreds of thousands of TikTok users in Montana. TikTok said in a statement, we believe... Uh, our legal challenge will prevail based on an exceedingly strong set of precedents and facts. This suit calls Montana's concerns that the Chinese officials could access America's data and subject minors to harmful content baseless. Okay, so that last statement. I have people in my inner circle that are in the healthcare industry. They go to people's homes and use their personal devices to access their clients' notes. It has been found that if a TikTok app is on a device that uh, the client's information is taken. So... Um, If it's not TikTok taking the information, how are they taking it? It's not on any other buddy's phone um, that doesn't have TikTok. So tell me. Okay. So there is that one. Close. This is where I get my news. Um, it's ground.news. You can type in anything you want to know, and it's there. This is not a paid advertisement, just so you know. TikTok officials go on a public charm offensive amid a stalemate in Biden White household. Biden White House, sorry. As in fighting, in fighting continues in the Biden administration over the future of TikTok, the video streaming giant is marshalling its resources towards one goal, convincing the public it is a safe platform. Hmm. The company recently launched a full-fledged charm offensive that has included rapper fire meetings in Washington with TikTok CEO Xu Zichu, new transparency tools on the app, and a first-ever tour to the members of media of a corporate campus in Los Angeles area. It comes two years after TikTok started talks with national security officials in the hopes of reaching a deal that would safeguard Americans' data from being accessed by employees at its Beijing-based parent company and fend off any possible data collection requests from the Chinese government. Okay. This is talks in the last two years. The people I've talked to said it's happened in the last year. Why is it that if they've been in talks for two years, they still haven't figured out how to safeguard their users' data, whether it's with TikTok, anything on their app, on their phone, on their computer, whatever, and they haven't figured out how to not access that information, then they should be they should have worked on it in the last two years if that's one thing they've been talking about. Uh, but those talks have dragged on to TikTok officials are growing impatient. Well, y'all need to work on it. It's not our government's job to figure out your company's problem. Sorry, even if you are a United States business like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it's not the United States government's job to tell these social media platforms 
how to safeguard their users' data, period. There's no reason why you need to know what my child's goals are in therapy. There's no reason why you should know who my friends are, okay? TikTok should not be talking to my Facebook or my Instagram. They need to be talking to TikTok. That's it. Now, I understand Facebook and Instagram talking to each other because they're the same company, but TikTok's not, so they should not be talking. One of the reasons... Uh, the discussions how lagged is a split in the White House. Some senior national security officers, officials, sorry, are uh, pushing for an agreement that forces TikTok to fully separate from Beijing parent company ByteDance. Yet others say that the safeguards TikTok is implementing are enough to uh, emulate most concerns about Chinese influence. Same thing. It's not our government's job to tell you how to safeguard your stuff. If you could show, hey, you know what? We've developed the app to only pick up what somebody is recording, whether it's audio or digital or video. We are not looking at anything else. We are only looking at this. But they're getting mad at Montana. Get this. Meanwhile, states and schools have been cracking down. More than two dozen states have banned TikTok from government issued devices. Some public universities, including Texas and Alabama, have banished it from campus Wi-Fi networks. Congress has made it illegal for the app to be on any federal phone. Okay. How come they're not going after the colleges? How come they're not going to the federal government? If they're going after Montana, Montana, the state, they're going after the state, for banning it to be downloaded on their border, why aren't they going into the federal government? You're ma making it where your federal employees cannot have freedom of speech. They're not doing that. They're not going after the colleges. They're not going after all these other places. They're saying, do not download it for us. And it's not just Montana. It's Texas and Alabama for the schools and everything like that. There's a lot of performance action going on, said Adam Siegel, a Chinese technology policy expert at the Council on F Foreign Relations. It's desire to slow, uh, show toughness on China, he said, but there's a lot of pent-up animosity towards social media broadly, its effect on children, U.S. democracy and misinformation, excuse me, <laughs> and it's easier to take out on a Chinese-owned TikTok right now than it is to say Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> Okay, they have gone after Facebook and they have gone after Twitter. Uh, TikTok's data protection proposal project Texas. At a media briefing on Tuesday, as Los Angeles office top TikTok officials described a data security plan dubbed Project Texas because it relies on Austin-based software company Oracle. TikTok's relationship with Oracle started during the Trump administration when the company was scrambling to find U.S.-based cloud servers as Trump push to put the app out of business in the United States. Now, all U.S. user traffic is routed through Oracle service ser servers, according to TikTok officials. We also spelled out how Oracle engineers will be able to inspect all TikTok source code, including the powerful algorithm that determines how videos go viral. In addition, a third-party monitor will inspect TikTok's data and algorithm in case Oracle misses some anything. Sorry. TikTok has stored US data, user data on a service in Virginia with backup capacity in Singapore. But now all America's uh, data is being deleted from its own service and moved over to Oracle. The company says also a, formed a sub subsidiary called TikTok US Data Security or USDS. It will control access to America's data on the app and report to an independent board of directors that will act as a liaison between TikTok and national security officials with the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. That committee, committee led by the Treasury Department has been locked in talks with TikTok for more than two years under the plan it would conduct regular audits of TikTok. USDS is expected to hire 2,500 people who have undergone high level background checks similar to those used by the US government. TikTok officials said on Tuesday, none of those hired would be Chinese nationals. 
okay? Um, if they're on U.S. soil, that's actually against our hiring. I think that's how you call it, their federal mandate, that you cannot not hire somebody or fire somebody due to their nationality, their gender, um, their length, you know, um, nationality, gender, uh, religious beliefs, all of that. And that to me, if they're on US soil, I think that's against the federal regulation for employment. I could be wrong. Do not quote me. These are my opinions. That's all it is. Um, like I said, if you go to your investor and you say, hey, we've got a problem. We don't know how to fix it. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to probably pull their funds. Unless you show, hey, we thought we could do it this way. It's not working. We need some like tweaks. But if you're saying you figure out how to solve it, they're going to go, why are we investing in you? We can go do this ourselves. Why do we need you? Now, I watch Shark Tank. A lot of these people are, you know, they had to do a lot in order to get on Shark Tank to get investments. From what I see a TikTok, I'm sorry. If they went on Shark Tank right now, I'm pretty sure they go, you know what? We have these issues with a social media already that's doing this and they can't figure it out. I mean, we've heard it. We've heard it with Facebook. We've heard it with Twitter. We've heard it with Instagram. They're taking information that's not supposed to be released and providing it to the um, to everybody, to the media, whatever you want to call it. It's releasing it. And... They're not, it TikTok's, you know, bad about it. And the reason why the government is shutting, cracking down on them the most is because they're from another country. They don't know what they're able to take. They don't want to make, they want to make sure that no terrorist or anybody else is getting information. I'm sorry, if my children happen to get on TikTok because they're on my phone, they're subject. It's not that they have an account. It's that they have access to my phone. They have access to my computer. So they can go on there and do, 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 and pedophiles and, you know, human trafficking can find my kids based on what's around them. That's not right. And yeah, it's my job to protect them, but it's also the federal government's job to protect us from stuff that we might not understand. Like I said, that's my opinion. Please let me know what you uh, what your opinion is on this topic. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.